Hey guys, in this video we're going to power this up and actually see if it goes boom or boots up or whatever. Same with the monitor, because we don't know what the monitor is like either. So, the only RAM I found that I had spare was another gig. No, sorry, half a gig. So, this is only going to get a gig and a half of RAM in it for now. If it works, I'm going to have to bump the RAM up. And I've got another one I want to build that I need RAM for anyway. So, I think I'm going to go this way. And it's a bit fiddly because of where the uh, position of the dim slots are and the yeah, CD drive. Well, it's been drying out for several hours in the bathroom now, so there is no moisture on it now. Crap. And after all that, I put the wrong one in first. I wanted to keep the gig of RAM exactly where I found it. And I thought I'd picked a 512 megabyte stick up, but no. least one power cable up here but all the other cables I need are all in the, in the drawers down here so that's 256 I actually have no idea why they bothered making 256 megabytes of DDR2 RAM I don't know if it's because they were still producing Windows XP machines, and of course DDR2 is quicker. Right, just so I can sit the monitor on top. There's my catch. This has got to go on this with some tape or something to sit on there. Just pull the catch and whoop, that drops into place. I suppose that's one configuration you could have it. I mean, maybe a Dell size would be around the other way, but. Right. That goes there. Does it go bang if I plug it in? Yep. That's a good start. <laughs> right. One PC mouse, because we need such devices. There is no PS2 connectors on here, it's USB only, so you will need USB peripherals. But Dell did sort of uh, eradicate those. I can't say that I blame them, but some people still prefer to use the PS2 stuff, but... I have no idea if this cable is any good. All I know is I've still got loads of these poxy things. Right, that's the I think it's that way around, it's hard to see. I've got an advantage with my monitor on the main PC because this whole bit rotates. So when I'm plugging the cables in, I just rotate it so the screen is then lengthways, not widthways. Right, this has got onboard video, which is good. I haven't got a video card for this, so I think the last thing I need is a power cable. Which is just standard kettle lead. It's clover leaf. What's this one? It's going to go bang when I plug it in. If I'm unlucky, there's still a bit of moisture somewhere in the power supply. Is it? It's just powering itself on for some reason. Turn the monitor on. <laughs> there's a 
this guy as well. This get drive seat failure, that's because it doesn't have one installed, so that's not a problem. Uh, we'll go for F1. I, prob I think I can turn the floppy disk seek off on this, so... No boot device detected. in the buy house. I'll turn that for you so you can actually see what I'm doing. I don't know if you can actually read on the screen what I'm doing but well, when I look at my LCD screen on the camera all I see is blue. Ah, system info. I've got the BIOS version 2006. read that right and it's not 9th to 12 and some weird sort of thingy. What we got? 1.8 gigahertz AMD Sempron. Not sure if that's a dual core or not as it's got Vista stickers all over I'm going to presume it's going to be at least a dual core. 64-bit technology. Memory info. One and a half gigabytes, memory speed 533 megahertz, memory channel mode single, memory technology DDR2 SD RAM. It even tells me that DIM 1 and 2 has got the two 512 megabyte sticks in, and DIMs 3 and 4 have the 256 in. Unbuffered. I'm not sure what that means. I've never played around with anything like that. I've just stuck it in and hoped it worked. <laughs> right. Tune slot the slot. And the date and time is uh, out. March the fifth, I believe. Twenty eighteen was the time. It's backwards. Oh. It's only in twelve hour numbers, not. It says 9.13, set it somewhere there because I know that's about six minutes fast. Right, there we go, that's that set. I think it's March the 5th. Right. So it's recognising the um, Western Digital 320 gig drive is there. Maybe the drive has been wiped. But it's definitely, it's there. <whistles> yes, yeah, SAR0 has the uh, 320 gigabyte Western Digital. There it is. It's got a CDRW DVD ROM. I'm going to turn errors on. Errors reported on. Integrated audio. USB controller, radio, radio, front USB, blah blah blah. A 
escape. Save an es exit. Escape. Save an escape. If it doesn't work, the only thing I can do is uh, reinstall an OS on it. <laughs> Yeah, the system battery voltage is low, it's telling me there, so it's going to need to be changed. Are you going to do anything this time? I've got a flashing cursor on the screen this time. Apparently I have Windows Vista Basic. Now what's it doing? I can hear the hard drive doing so. Ooh! I think I got it to boot. Maybe it didn't like it because the date and time wasn't set. Just the system battery is low. Which I have got a shed load of when I can find the pot with them in. I don't think it's actually in here. But I do have a bunch of the CR2032s that these take, so... That's not a problem. It's probably been sitting around for a few years, you know, sitting in storage. This is really, really quiet now that the main fan's slowed down to speed. Don't know why, but Dells especially, I've noticed the fans really ramp up when you first turn them on. Oh crap. <laughs> uh, there is a way to get around passwords. But I need my brother's help for that because I can't remember how to do it. I must try a couple of the obvious things. by guessing and I have cracked it and gotten in. Um, it's giving me a reset password option there but that's not a lot of good. <laughs> Don't think. So I'll probably go to an email. Password reset disk. Well, it is a working machine at least. I just either need to get over the password. Like I said, there's a bloody way to do it, and I can't remember how to do it. <sighs> I might message my brother actually and see if he can help out. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to just leave this as is. I might try and get hold of a Windows Vista operating system. I know people don't like it. It was a crappy operating system, but to me it was only crap because it just hogged on system resources. You know, I'd really have to bump the RAM up in this to get it to run smoothly, but I don't have a Windows Vista machine in my collection, so that's why I'm just tempted to go ahead and do that with this. I don't think I'll bother with the floppy disk drive though. I might see if I can still fit the card reader at some point. But uh, that thing is peeling off and it's doing my head in. Just a Vista sticker. <laughs> it must have got or start to lose its stick from being out in the damp, so because I bet this has been out in the damp sheds. Like I said, in storage, but I've got a really nice monitor, a nice system, and all rescued from the skip, <laughs> basically. So, we know it works. Not quite huzzah, because I can't get past the password. <laughs> if I get past the password, then it would definitely be a huzzah. Which I want to try that route first. <laughs> Only I can remember how to do it. My brother did show me how to do it. Um, and that just made me think, you know, there's no point in password protecting because anyone that knows what they're doing can get 
over that anyway. I think I need a boot disc to do it if I remember rightly. I think. Or maybe I could set it up, set the hard drive up on another machine. Actually, yeah, I think I could do that. If I set this up on the other, on my Windows 7 machine, the hard drive, I think I can go into the hard drive and do it that way and change all the user settings so that's not there. I'm going to look into that. <laughs> like I said, I know there's a way. But uh, any personal data I find will not be shown on camera and it will be wiped. <clears throat> Uh, although eventually I might just wipe the hard drive and put a fresh install on it anyway. Especially when I get some more RAM. I don't know what the max is. I'm going to have to uh, just Google this and find the specs so I know what the maximum amount of RAM is. And to see if I can actually upgrade that processor. That would be nice. Because I would like at least a 2 gigahertz dual core processor in there if I can find one. If they even did them in that AMD range, I don't know, not until I look. There's just more stuff I've got to look into. Anyway, thanks a lot for watching. I hope you like this video. And uh, I'll talk to you again soon. Ta-ta.